Hello, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install and uninstall Oracle uh, Client 19C from Windows. So, what you see here is my Windows machine. I'm going to first install the Oracle uh, Client 19C on it and then show you how to remove it if you want to. So, this is the download page from the uh, Oracle website. And this is where you can download the Oracle uh, Client 19C. The exact version that I'm going to be downloading is 19.3. You either download the 64-bit version or the 34-bit, uh, the 32-bit uh, uh, version. And in each case, you have two uh, packages. You can install the uh, Client Home uh, package or the client package. In a previous video, I have showed you how to install the client home package, which is a simpler uh, client uh, installer. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install this one, the client one. For me, I'm going to download the 32-bit version. In fact, I have already did download it, but you can also download the 64-bit version if you want to okay let's go and uh, extract this uh, package and when it is extracted we are going to uh, launch it and install it if you are just interested in uh, uninstalling the oracle client you can skip to the end of the video to see how it is uninstalled Go to the uh, unzipped folder, find the setup uh, file and launch it as administrator. Run the installer. On the first page, you will be asked to uh, select the installation type. You have administrator, type, runtime, instant client and custom we will uh, choose the run uh, the administrator uh, installation because it installs the management console the management tools the networking services and utilities and basic client software so this is the full client installation and it takes uh, almost 1.5 gigabytes of space on your uh, disk drive so let's go with the first option, but you can also use the second option or the other options if you want to. In the uh, custom option, uh, you have the possibility to choose individual components to install. So click next to go to the next page. <coughs> On this page, you will be asked to specify the Oracle home user. You can either use an existing uh, Windows user, create a new Windows user, or use, or use a Windows built-in account. I'm going to use this third option and click Next. On this page, you will be asked to specify uh, two installation locations. One is the Oracle Base and the other is the uh, Oracle Home. For the Oracle Base, I'm going to remove administrator from it and make it as uh, app client in the C uh, partition. For the Oracle Home, it's made of the Oracle base and then product 19.0.0 and then client 1. I'm going to remove client 1. Uh, I just keep client. Or in fact, I'm going to call it client32, just in case I need to install uh, a client uh, of 64-bit version. And then click Next to proceed. On this step, the installer is going to perform some uh, prerequisite check and then give you a summary of the installation. So let's wait a little bit until the check uh, finishes. So now the installer gives you a summary of the installation. So this is what we have chosen. 
we have chosen this location for the uh, Oracle base and this is the Oracle home this is the location of the installer and you can go back and change uh, any of these uh, settings it's always a good habit to save the response file so I'm going to save it as Oracle client uh, 32-bit nineteen C thirty two bit and save the file and then click install to start the installation of the Oracle client nineteen C. It's going to take a few minutes. I'm going to pause the video and resume it when the installation finishes. During the installation you will be prompted by the Windows uh, Defender to allow <coughs> the installer and to allow Java to access the network, just click allow access access to grant this permission and let the installation continue. When the installation finishes, you will see this uh, little message, the installation of Oracle client was successful. Close it and now the Oracle client uh, has been installed successfully on your machine. If you want to view what was installed, you can go to the start menu, scroll down until you see uh, Oracle client, which is here. And this is our the components that were installed with this client. For example, we have the net configuration assistant, we have the net manager, we have the SQL plus, the universal installer, and etc. etc. Now let's see how to remove the Oracle client. <coughs> if you want to remove the Oracle client, go to the location where it has been installed. So for me it's under C, App, Client, Product, 1900 and then Client32. And find a folder called the install, which is right here. Open it, copy this uh, location and open the command prompt as administrator okay so you should see here administrator command prompt paste that location that you have copied not sure if I copied it okay and then run this file called the install not the bat file, this file, the install. Okay, so for uh, backslash, the install, not the bat file, and then hit enter. And when you hit enter, it's going to take you th through some steps that will allow you to uh, de uh, de install the Oracle client. As you can see, the, the installer uh, tool is asking me, do you want to continue? I'm going to say yes. Now I suppose it is removing the, all the components of the Oracle client. As you can see, files are starting to disappear from the uh, loc this location where Oracle has been installed. And it has finished. Oracle deinstall tool end. So it has finished. And as you can see, all the file have disappeared from the Oracle client installation folder. And if I go to the start menu, I do not see Oracle client here. And in the app folder uh, in the C uh, partition, 
the app folder is empty so as you can see it is very very simple to uh, remove the Oracle client just run the, the install file and confirm that you want to, to do install Oracle client and it's going to remove everything clean installation that's it guys I hope this video has been helpful for you and thank you for watching